Hello, this is Michael Narlock, Head of Astronomy at the Cranbrook Institute of Science, with a look at the sky for the week of April 13th. Venus continues to dominate the western sky. Through a telescope, Venus will look like the waxing crescent moon. Venus will be moving between the Earth and Sun during the next month, and will see less and less of its lighted side. Face due south this week and look up to find the bright star Regulus. Regulus is located at the bottom of a backward question mark or a sickle. This is the head of Leo the Lion. Regulus represents the heart of Leo. It's a multi-star system and one of the brightest stars in the nighttime sky. Its distance is about 80 light years. That means the light we see tonight left the star around 80 years ago. Those of you who are early morning risers will be treated to a nice parade of the moon and planets from April 14th through 16th. Look toward the southeast horizon around 5.45 in the morning and you'll see the moon with three planets to the left. The planet closest to the moon is Jupiter. Jupiter is the third brightest object in the dark sky. Since it's a planet, it doesn't make its own light. It reflects the light of the sun. Because of its giant size, it reflects a lot of light. To the left of Jupiter is Saturn. It's the second largest planet in our solar system, and its icy rings reflect a lot of sunlight as well. Saturn is farther from Earth than Jupiter, so it's not as bright. And to the left of Saturn is Mars. Mars is only half the size of Earth, but its closest to Earth makes it a bright object. The Moon is located to the right of Jupiter on the 14th, but just one morning later, it will be underneath Saturn. The Moon moves a great distance in just one day, and the distance is most noticeable when it's near another bright object. On the morning of the 16th, the Moon will be at the lower left of Mars, the red planet, which actually appears more orange than red. The word planet means wanderer because they look like stars that wander across the sky. If you keep track of Mars, you'll notice it increasing its distance from Saturn as the week goes by. Jupiter and Saturn also move, but they're much farther away and orbit the Sun slower. Jupiter won't catch up to Saturn until December. Thanks for visiting, and keep looking up.